Exchanging Notes is a four-year program funded by Youth Music and Walcott Foundation to provide music education alongside schools. We went into St Gabriel's and we were delivering two sessions a week with 23 young people that we'd have for the full four years and we'd be looking at how how does it affect their lives? What are the positive outcomes from that? Does music actually make a positive impact on a young person? My name is Nina Frigio. I live in Kennington. My name is Danielle. Uh, I live in Kennington. My name is Tammy Johnson and I live in Peckham. My name is Paige. I live in Whitefield, Camberwell. I'm George Webb. I live in between Camberwell and Peckham. My name is Nishida Bendy. I live in Stockwell. My name is Zion. I live in Peckham. Well, life is good. I'm still living in the same place. I've, um, I've matured more and, yeah, become better at playing instruments. Well, oh, I'm playing football a lot. I'm playing music a lot because of Kinetica and that's basically about it, music and football. Sessions are getting a bit difficult, but um, I still get good grades and everything's good and well. I'm the eldest in the house, so I have to take care of like, the little ones when my mum is out. So coming to stuff like this like, draws me away from all of that. Home is very, it's very good, you know. Everyone loves each other. Nothing's really changed. Normal stuff like schoolwork, um, sports, that's it. Nothing really changed. Neighbourhood is still calm. Everything's fine. Life is, is, is calm right now. It's, it's decent. There could be more improvements. But right now, as like my age right now, I think I'm on a really good level where I want to be compared than if I was not like, in the eight. Right now, I think like what I'm doing is, is really good. Home is home. Like, you got my little brother, Annoying as always, big sister always looks after me. Mum, stuff it more I could really ask for because um, they're my family. What can I, what else can I say? They're always gonna annoy me because I'm not like, the middle child, so I can't ask for anything else. I started going to church. <laughs> I go basketball on Saturdays, like matches. And yeah, on Thursdays after school, I'll go to like a still pan group and play. I changed schools. So I've moved to the Brit school and so I'm not in exchanging notes anymore but I joined Connecticut Blocko outside of school. Still, still the same area, still same walk to school. The last six months have been pretty normal, just sort of done school as, as per usual, all my extra things. I've got a show coming up so we started rehearsals for that. It feels like I'm actually able to go and do more things uh, like music going. Like this summer's been, like, it's like chock a block hectic, but I'm doing things and there's no like restraint anymore of like, oh, you have to do your homework, you have to, uh, oh, you're too young or whatever. It's, it's yeah. I don't really stay home. Um, I go to Kenya, but I did last year I went to the summer school. Nothing's different. It's just that, well, I go to church now and yeah, I believe in God now. I'm more spiritual than I was before. Well, recently I haven't been going to church as much. And like two nights ago, I had the dream that rapture happened. So I'm kind of trying to go back to, to God. And yeah. Life is. I want to say quite boring. Yeah, all I do is come to Kinneka. I mean, Kinneka is fun, but like outside of Kinneka, all I do is just sleep. I don't know, like Kinneka, I meet all my friends here. We make, well, I don't make music, but obviously dance. And like, dancing is fun. I like dancing.
We had two aims, and one was to enable young people at risk of low attainment, disengagement or educational exclusion to achieve the best musical, educational and wider outcomes. The second one was to promote a collective understanding of high quality music education, stimulating fresh thinking in music and education practice. Then we had like four kind of sub aims. So number one, to improve the quality and standards of music delivery for children and young people. Number two, to embed learning and effective practice in host and partner organisations and share practice beyond the projects. The third one, to improve young people's educational and wider development outcomes. And number four, to develop the creative, expressive and musical ability of young people. My mum's a chef. My brother does engineering in um, university and I don't live with my dad. I live with my mum, dad, brother, sister and two pets, a guinea pig and a dog. I live with my sister and my parents and my two cats and various other pets. <laughs> well, there's my mum and my two sisters. My sister's called Chino and she's like, she turned 18 a couple weeks ago and my other sister is 27. Both my parents are musicians, my mum is a violinist and my dad is a kind of freelance session doer in schools. So he's often out and about all the time. I live with my mum, my sister and my brother. And they all help me, um, they all help me with my trombone and stuff like that. I have um, a mum uh, and a sister that lives with me. My mum is a hairdresser and my sister goes to primary school. School's important because I need education. My family is important because I need them when life is hard. And same as friends, I need them when life is hard. My favourite subject is, I think, music and art. And I think dance as well. At school, I like PE. I like maths sometimes, English sometimes. I love science. I like RS. I kind of like all of my subjects. I'm really good at music. Uh, I'm very bad at art because I can't draw. I like PE the most because I like, I like sports. I, I enjoy music most of all, music and art. I'm good at the main subjects, so maths, English and science. I also like to do computing and music and arts. But I don't really like religious and history. I don't like science and I don't like maths. Well, I don't like uh, science and maths. I'm good at art, PE, history, geography. I'm not really good at maths. Uh, I don't know. It's just something about music that like makes you want to listen to it more different ranges like or different types like reggae or pop or k-pop or um uh, r&b music is not really that important to me but it's important to my family i mainly listen to hip-hop music because hip-hop is because i'm young um and because I've basically grown up with the music, so I know it more. Just being a child of, of musicians it just means that I've always had it as part of my life and I liked it, so I just kept doing it. The kind of songs that they're playing now, I don't really like because they're mostly like bad language and stuff like that. I listen to certain music when I'm according to my mood. Anytime I can, anytime I have headphones, anytime I have my phone, anytime. You know when parents shout at you and then they're like, do your work, and I just put my headphones in and I just do it, and it just makes me do my work. Right now, music isn't that important because I, I don't want to take music with me as I grow up. My first day, I was quite scared. 
and I was I was unsure what to do. I was really excited because I've never really had a chance like to like play something else than like a trombone or, or like a brass instrument. So when I heard the news, I was like, wow, seriously, me of all people. When I started the project in Ye, I was really excited about what we get to do and really looking forward to what's to come. At the beginning, I felt nervous because I haven't played an instrument before. The 23 young people were picked by the teacher. And actually, what we came to realise as we moved along in the project is a lot of them thought that they'd been picked because they were naughty or bad or un underperforming. And um, this greatly affected how we how we started. It was actually, it was, it was kind of hard. Blocko, in Kinetica Blocko, we're very used to getting young people who've chosen to be there. So when we've gotten to a, when we're, we were in a position where they hadn't, they didn't feel like they were chosen for good reasons, it was a little, there was some resistance. Well, I kind of felt like, why are they doing it? But now, I can't really say that anymore, because they do it. If I could change anything about it, I think I might change the attitude towards it a little bit. Because some people kind of go, oh no, not, not this again. I wanted to do steel pans, but there wasn't enough for me to join, so I had to do drumming. They should give us breaks, because we play, 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 play. They'll just give us like two minute cookie and oranges and then we'll go back to it. I think they should make the break a little bit longer so our, breath, our brain rests and stuff like that because we're playing too much and our arms are tired and yeah, I think we should rest a little bit longer than two minutes. My favourite thing about the project is getting to play with other people and the other instruments in the band. I like mixing with other people. Having the chance to play a different instrument that you normally see in school. Everyone comes together to make one sound and it sounds really good. My favourite thing about this project this year is playing instruments with my friends. Year two, we still had uh, in-school sessions. I think it became longer, it became 100 minute sessions and we were still doing the after school club. I like coming up more morning, I liked it before, because before we just played drums. So now I play slip bands, which I like. I think it's pulled the year group together a lot and I I enjoy it more than when we first did it. The group groups kind of knitted a lot more because before, when we first started, there was a lot more talking, a lot of distraction, but now I think people have settled down and they kind of know each other more, know what's expected in the group. Sometimes, like let's say the brass section will probably kind of I don't know, probably probably forgot their part, so it kind of makes us feel like, oh my gosh. We need to practice because, you know, when we came back for our first performance in 2016, I think we could have been better because, you know, we were a little bit rusty because we haven't really played the songs in time. So I think Wade or Tadman should bring back just a panist all together just to have like a little practice because I think the drums are kind of loud and I think you can't really hear the pans even though you want to hear them but you can't hear them enough. The after school club changed from being just the core group to being open to their school, the rest of their school so they had some, some other young people join but it became much more open. They had non-St. Um, non Gabriel's young people join in and so we, the after school club became something bigger and something different. Everybody's spending time together on something that's enjoyable and that we, we're not forced to do it, but we can choose to do it and that lots of people in the group really like it. People from other schools, so they've come to join us as well to make us a bigger group. I like that. <laughs> Bringing people from other schools, it's like, you get to know more people and it's more enjoyable, you get to ask them questions instead of like, because you already know what everyone else likes and that. Everyone has different ideas and then when you put them together, um, it makes a better one. The one thing I don't like is when my friends start to talk about it, like, oh, you're coming to Kinetica today. So it just feels like, oh, now my friends know about Kinetica, so. I mean, it's meant, to, it's meant to be a good thing, but I'm kind of a person that likes to be greedy and whatever.
I think the ones that we do in class, they're not really that important as the ones like after school. Because the ones after school, firstly, we have more time and like we get more stuff done. Block out after school, we learn loads of songs. Like it's like basically summer school and summer school is very fun. I think in school, it's really messy and stuff like that. Like I'll be playing one thing, I, I will know the song, and the other person, instead of them telling me that they don't know the song and let me help them, they'll just stay there and they'll play the wrong note. And that brings the whole band together, down. I miss out on quite a lot of my um, education. So every other week, we have to go either period one, two or three and we go for, for the whole lesson. We don't go for like the first half or second half. So we miss all of our lesson. I don't think it's affected me badly, but I think it's affected me. The, for the after school one, because you're missing your own time, I think there's a different attitude for some of the people who might not necessarily want to be there or might have something they want to do more. It just makes it a bit harder when there's people who just don't really want to be there or. Uh, Try finding ways to have fun that weren't thought of. I don't really like going to the school one because, well, the sessions after school, they're just really, well, it's not boring, but it's because, like, I want to play outside with my friends and it's just like, ugh, I don't really want to go there. But summer school, I actually like it because all my friends are here and there's actually nothing to do at home. If I could jump, if I could um, jump out of the 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 in between school one, I wouldn't talk about the after school, but in in between one, I would, because it's it's just like it's boring. Yeah, three, it changed again. So Paige went to Brit school, and that was one. It was one of her hopes. So she made something she really wanted come true. She wanted to go to Brits in year. I think that was year nine. She wanted to go to Brits. She made it. Do their thing, and it's still doing her thing. But we invite her back to do to help us deliver programmes, so she's one of the pan assistants now. When I first joined Connecticut Blocker summer school and they were doing dance, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it, but I, I picked still pan, and then when I saw the dance section, I was like, yeah, I really like dance, I want to join in, but I didn't get to do it this year because I was busy doing dance. <laughs> so I went to um, Brit school and my mum was like, yeah, you're really good at dance, you, should, you would get in, and I just happened to get in. There's much more engagement with the project now. The people who didn't want to do it, sort of, they've either left and gone and done something else, or they've sort of gained. Yeah, they become more more engaged with it, and they enjoy it much more. There's still a little bit of slacking, but that's it's become part of the charm rather than an annoyance now. Because because we're now in the stage where we're gonna do our GCSEs. So before we used to have it during the school day, but now we have it after school and it causes a lot of problems with certain people. So then after school, so it's not as much as it was like when it was inside school. I like Connecticut because it's just a surprise. You don't know what's going to happen next. Musically, it's just, here's a piece, play it. And you do and then it sounds good. So it's it's much more level in, um, in, well, our school, and in school it's a bit more quiet. I prefer the outside one just because there's a lot of new people that you meet and um, how everyone's act together as one. Instead of in school there's always arguments and there's always fights for two people. In school there's no music, there's no like instrumental players, because everyone wants to play drums, still, and pans. But in the outside one, there's lots of people who really love their instruments and want to play. Year four, to because it was GCSE times, because they did will have interventions, that was a big thing. There were still loads of detentions, hour long, 15 minutes long. Um, there was like a boys to men club, there were singing clubs, there was IT club, sports club, PE. There was a language catch up and all those other things that were pulling at them. It became not that it was a drop in thing, but we didn't necessarily have all of the young people every session, but they were still coming. So the commitment 
kind of moved over to them a bit. And for some of them, that responsibility really, they took it on. So many people dropped out of Kinder Club because of them teachers. And it's a bit like... I feel people dropped out because they thought that um, they wouldn't have enough time for themselves to relax. They wouldn't have enough time to um, have fun, basically. I don't know what was going through their head, but I did not drop out for a reason. And now I'm here. People left because they didn't have the instrument that they started off with anymore and they weren't feeling the vibe anymore at first, but then they realised that we were actually having fun and they said they wished they had stayed. For me to stay in, I think what helped me is knowing Shay and Sam and Tamsin and everyone that helped because they are really good people who listen to you whenever you need to be listened to and they will happily talk to you. Yeah, they will teach you the right ways. And for the people that dropped out, uh, I don't know what's wrong with them. Can I tell inside of school? I mean, I don't like the kids. Some kids can be, you know, nice, but most of them are just a bit disconnected. There's obviously older kids, and I'm like one of the youngest. It's fun. You get to meet new people. We get to um, make the community smile a bit more. School, we just like playing in front of school. In Connecticut, like, we go for a range of people. You learn more songs than you learn in school. Connecticut outside is better. It's quite challenging. And then once a young person, the young person might hear what I'm playing, I might like the song, and they might search it up. This is like the place where I come to express my feelings and play music. Being a part of the Blocko project or the Exchange Notes project has really has has given those young people who wouldn't normally be engaged in something like this a massive opportunity to be engaged in in music making in a way that they probably wouldn't have before. Being child of, of musicians just means that I've always had it as part of my life. Without music, I wouldn't, like, calm down. If I'm angry, I don't... Sometimes I'll, I'll get angry really quick, but when I get my earphones with music or something, they probably, like, they calm me down a, a lot. I put my music and I'm kind of feeling sad or yeah, emotional or whatever. It makes me happier, like, if I get angry, like, if I've had an argument with someone, and I'm angry, I'll listen to music and it'll make me happy, like, it'll make me want to dance. If I'm, like, want to argue back with a teacher, I'll just, like, close my eyes and probably, like, harm a son, son or, like, tap my foot, like, to a beat or something, something like that. I like listening to music that's been out since the 90s or whatever. Yeah. Like, now on YouTube, I look up a lot more jazz music and particularly right now, like, Tennis saxophone type players and that I listen to like new music out, like Rihanna's got a new album, so I listen to that album. Well, I don't really listen to music, so I don't really have favourites. I listen to a mixture of R&B and stuff like that. Unless I'm playing it in still pan, then I'll listen to it so I know how to play it, but I don't really use to listen to them. I listen to loads of old songs, so like, from 1950s, 1960s. It's made me, I, I, I can't explain, like, to be more open to music, I can't explain. Because I've been introduced to kinetic art, it's, it's a bit more because it's more music to learn and more music I know. Before I just used to listen to, like, I don't know, like, Beyonce, blah, 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 blah. And I actually listen to, like, back in the day music. I've been listening to the, like, a collection that, that my family bought like, years ago called The Black Box of Jazz. Nowadays, I don't really listen to music because I'm more focused on work and stuff like that. I started writing that in music from when I was 11 because I got angry at my mum, so I made a song. Amy Winehouse, Our Day Will Come. Um, I don't know why that's most frequently played, but I just like it. 
It's Jazzy. Before I came to Connecticut, um, the friends that I had, they were more, I, I don't want to say street, but they weren't as musical. And now that I'm here in Connecticut, like, everyone likes music, everyone likes to dance, everyone's just musical. I feel like music is more part of my life in general now. Before it was sort of separated. Like, you go to this place and you do music, then you come home and you don't do music. I don't think I'll be listening to the different ranges of music I listen to right now. Like now, I, I listen to like more jazzy stuff, just different stuff. Like before, I'll just stick on to I'll just stick to one, but now I just listen to a different type of music. I listen to music so that like I'm calm. Cause I think that's the only way I can be calm is if I listen to music. I have a playlist of a different playlists for different emotions. So I listen to a playlist because I feel like that or because I want to feel like that. Last year, gospel music. Right now, I'm listening to more. Actually, just different ranges of mu music. Different type. It feels like I'm sort of coming out from underneath a rock and realizing it's all this stuff everywhere that I didn't realise about before. It's really, really nice. I listen to music quite a lot. Like, I listen to it in the morning, on my way here sometimes. I've been listening to a lot of, like, light rock, um, especially earlier in the year. And when it came to GCSEs, it was, like, heavy rock all the time to just, like, stay awake. I generally just choose music because I like dancing a bit. So, I generally just choose like a nice beat. Some of it comes from music GCSE and then friends will introduce me to different genres as well. Even my mum, she will introduce me to different kind of music. If I want to relax, I'll listen to something like classical, but then if I'm like happy, I'll listen to more hip hop. I like Afrobeats. Recently I've been listening to like Funky House. And yeah, garage music. It's cool to actually listen to different genres. Um, sometimes you can actually learn the language through music. I feel like music really did help me. I think it stopped, stopped me kind of becoming dejected or depressed about everything. Music is something that um, it's not hard for me to express myself in. Something like um, Swimming is really hard to express your feelings in for me, but everybody has their own different things that they express themselves through, and that's for me that's music. Yeah, it's been a big part of my life, and obviously Connecticut has also like influenced me to do more music and want to continue with music. Things I like about playing music are the phrasing where you could change the phrasing to make it sound different or make it sound nicer and more pleasing to the ear. Sometimes if I'm feeling sad I'll go to play an instrument so I can just let out all of my emotions into it. The things that are hard about playing music are the notes but mostly the rhythm. The things I don't like about playing music is when I need to do my grades sometimes there are, the scales are a little bit hard. I probably want to play trumpet, something like that, saxophone. Yeah, saxophone and trum trumpet. I want to try out new things like guitar. I want to be able to play in an orchestra or like a professional band. I've always wanted to play, like play piano with like a big group, like an orchestra. My first instrument was uh, still pans. I would like to join an orchestra. I've learned how to play f two different instruments. Well, a few types of instruments, which includes drumming. I'm hoping to next play a saxophone because I really like the sound of it. It's pretty much like a clarinet as well. I still play the trombone. I'm not sure if I said it last time. But yeah, I play the trombone. I play steel pans. I started steel pans in year seven. And then Kinetico Blocko, I started doing steel pans outside of school and playing like carnival. I 
past grade five bassoon with distinction. I've been starting piano, not lessons, but I've just been practicing at home. I'm better um, at steel pans than doing drums because I just prefer steel pans. Drums is just beating the stick on the drum. Steel pans, you have to remember so many notes. Music has a big impact on my life because I can't go a day without listening to music or I will be very moody or grumpy. It's not important, important, but well, I think I can say that I listen to music like every day. If I have to do my work, I'll just listen to music and then it'll get me in the zone. I do Saturday music school and I do, I sing in a choir. So music is very, very central to my life. It's very important. I can't go a day without listening to music. I think music helps me to calm down, focus on what I'm doing. From the beginning of the year, I knew that I only did one like extracurricular activity that isn't music related. Because I do dance, I do singing, I do playing. I whistle a lot, I sing sometimes. Um, I just make beats when I'm just walking around. The soon is not very much repertoire. Oh, not very many styles. It's like baroque or classical. It's the two main styles. You, if you don't like those, don't play bassoon, <laughs> but I like them, so it's fine. Some people play trombone in um, Kinaeka, brass section, and it just looks so nice. I'm not as, I'm not as good, so let me just say that. And like, they're very good, like, they'll be playing their, their solo, and it just makes me want to do better. On a Friday, I normally have my trombone lesson, and my math teacher, she's always complaining, like, and... She doesn't like me going to my trombone lessons, and I still go anyways. <laughs> and it has affected my, my grades. I used to do clarinet. I quit this year. The teacher didn't really like it. I didn't really care. So this year I've been focusing more on still pans than like really trombone, because I play trombone, but I don't play as much as still pans now. I just enjoy still pans better. It's just that the flow with it, like you can do anything with a still pan. Now I've finished school, I don't really have a clarinet, but I am looking on buying a clarinet for myself. I used to play the, what's it called? The trombone. I don't play that anymore. I don't know, just because I don't have my teacher anymore. So music, it's, it's not much, it's not as big or as important as it was in school or in secondary school, sorry. Without music, I would be quite a boring person. <laughs> Um, probably not a very happy person either um, and the world would be a lot less interesting. Music is very important for you to like, express your feelings and um, your passion and stuff like that. It's been with me all my life so yeah it's just like a partner with me. <laughs>
they listen to me in kind of car. I feel I feel like they listen to me too. Before they didn't really do music that we like, but since as now they're like actually listening to what we like and they're taking in and the stuff that they do as well and then they're mashing it together so that it sounds great. Um, and then people like it more now and a lot of people want to join or whatever. So yeah. Last year they asked what um, songs they would like us to play for this year. So we gave them a couple songs and then together between them, because we gave them the song between them, they chose the songs that they felt would be best for us. So they picked the songs and they listened to whatever we have to say and yeah, just like a big family. Last year, um, I moved into music and I've, I've had like how many teachers already? Like four? Ugh. The one I have now, he's good, I like him, Mr. Lever. And we've had about three different music di directors in this year. So the, the general, like the scheme has been all over the place. Well, I've had different music teachers, but my trombone teacher I've always had, he's always been there, but my music teacher, they just changed and ever since, they keep changing, it's like a different aspect keeps coming in. They keep changing up this, they keep changing up that. It's just meant that the music department hasn't done as much and it's been a bit lacklustre because we're stopping and starting. So the last concert was in the park in school time instead of, uh, yeah, it wasn't very long either. They didn't teach us properly, like, they'll give us a, a, a task, like, and they wouldn't even help us. They'll, they'll just expect us to know everything. And to me, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. But now that I have missed the lever, like he teaches us. And right now we're, um, we're working on blues. And yeah, blue music and whatever. He, realize, he realizes our weaknesses and our strengths. He makes sure he helps us in depth with like, our compositions and stuff. Since we've had Mr. Lever, I've been getting better grades, first of all. Yeah, yeah, it's just been fun. He don't just teach us the lesson, it's like he gets to know us more as well, so he knows what we're struggling with, he knows what we're really good at, and so he knows what to teach us. It's been great, it's been great having Mr. Lever. Mr. Lever's a great teacher, um, yeah. Having a consistent music teacher is amazing. <laughs> he scrapped concert band and put all of the concert band members in exchanging notes, which made exchanging notes much bigger for a while and much um, like better. There was more people. There was you could do more harmonies and more things with, especially the instrument instrumental side. I learn more in Connecticut than I do in school music lessons. Music lessons are more um, they kind of like inject every little piece of information they can in you before you leave to go to lunch. Um, I think in Erica, they take their time with you and go through each note to make sure everybody's included so no one's left out when, I'm play when they're playing. At the outset, the hope was that We'd have like a really powerful bond with the young people. We create something, some amazing music with the young people. We'd get to know them as individuals. We hoped that we'd be able to prove that music is is important, is powerful, that it grows a young person. Quite a lot of my friends are from the Exchanging Notes program as well. Um, so just kind of hang around at lunch and break. On the first day that I've been playing my clarinet, I felt a little bit nervous because if I played a wrong note in front of someone, they might tease me. But now, because I've got to know them more, if I play a wrong note, I know that they won't make fun of me. If you get one thing wrong, they don't torture you about it. They just push you to get the to get thing right instead of wrong. I still hang out with the same people. It's just like, sort of the same, but like more friendly, if you get what I mean. There's new people from year seven 
so there's like more friendships happening. Most of my other friends, like CJ and Paige and Daniel, we all play on the same instrument at Connecticut, so I hang out with them quite more because we go to the same places and stuff like that. The people that were in last year have now like gone to dance, but a little bit of my friends are still there, but I've become like more independent and stuff like that. I'll say it's better to be independent because yeah, there's not, there can't always be someone that you can lean on sometimes. Sometimes you have to do it yourself, so. To like be happy is like very important. Being around my friends, um, enjoying myself, trying to stay away from home as much as possible. I've had so many fallouts this year with friends and yeah, people that I thought were my friends, but they were just rude. Can I call my family? I, I've been with them since year seven to now. I hang around with normal friends, like ma mainly like friends that are musicians. So as my friends in here, they're musicians, dancers. I hang around with them because they kind of influence me to carry on my music career. And also if they like teach me more things that I need to know. I think that I've become more disciplined and I've listened more to the instructor. Before I used to just end up daydreaming and not listening to the beat I'm supposed to play. I used to have like fights, not like physical fights, but arguments that would lead into a physical fight with my friend. But they also joined um, um, Exchange Notes and Kinetica Blocker. So like it's, it's made me have to work with them. And because I've had to work with them, I got closer to them and like we've sorted out everything. So like now everything's, what's the word? Civil. <laughs> In music, the general response to making a mistake is to just, to just like laugh it off and be like, you can't change it, it happens. I'm trying to adopt a similar attitude to mistakes in the rest of my life, because sometimes I have a mistake and I'll just be like thinking about it for days afterwards and it'll just be really stressing me out. But um, I'm starting to try and do the same thing. Being a leader is, I didn't know how difficult it was until I was actually doing it. When I first started um, helping disabled um, students, it was a bit like, I really don't want to do this, but now that I'm getting used to it, it's a bit fun. First of all, I enjoy music. Second of all, I like teaching them new songs and interacting with the younger children. And they're all happy, <laughs> it makes me happy. I haven't quite decided if I like it or not. Working with younger children, the first two days I found them hard, <laughs> very hard. <laughs> like I'd go off into another room, which was not a good thing to do, but now like today I'm happier and I'm less tired and I'm finding it easier. I became a leader in junior South School because I actually like kids, so teaching them was quite easy. I get paid as well, and I don't work, so I mean money, even if it's £10, is all right. It feels good, I feel like an adult. I want to be a psychologist or a neurologist, but if that doesn't work out, then I want to be a musician. I want to be a psychologist. I want to be in university, work my way to get to be a psychologist. Kinetica is making me double think like what I want to be when I'm older. Because it's either I want to be a psychologist or a pathologist, or working with children, or working with special needs people to go to medical school until I'm 26, um, be a psychiatrist, and then be rich. I don't really have music plans for the future. I thought, you know what, I'll just come to Kinetic Car, that's the only music I'll be doing for the, like, for until I don't know when. Well, my mum wants me to be, like, 
a music teacher or something like that when I'm older or just dance just I don't know she just wants me to be musical because she likes music she likes listening to music all the time and I think she wanted me to do that since I was born I wanted to be a footballer <laughs> um I wanted to play for England but now I, I, I still want to be a nurse I still want to be a choreographer I don't I want to be a model as well for clothing line. In the future, I want to start playing my trombone in gigs, um, dance. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually do that in the future, probably just in Connecticut. But I want to play my trombone in gigs. Um, I want to be a midwife. I don't have my own company to become a midwife. And to also have a YouTube channel. Yeah. I don't think it will continue. <laughs> Because I want to be a midwife, music and it doesn't go together. I want to be a scientist, a kind of physicist, inventor type person. But I'd also like to do music as well. There's lots of things that I want to be. I don't know which one I'm, I'm going to actually be. I'm considering like making things, agriculture maybe, music as, as definitely an option. Lots of things. <laughs> But a musician in some capacity, definitely. I, I think I'd get bored <laughs> if there was no music. I still don't really know what I want to do with my life. Uh, something musical is in there, definitely. But aside from that, I don't really know. It's kind of, we'll see what happens, I think. That's the plan. Because I'm good at like art and all the creative things, I want to go to Brit school and I want to like be known for what I do so say if I want to do singing I want to be known for that or like Alicia Keys she sings and plays piano like something like that. My goals are mainly towards dance like being on stage or dancing just dancing for a living getting paid to dance for big people. I would like to work with companies to do technology such as Apple Sony, Microsoft. I did want to really start as a footballer because I'm really good at football. Then artists, then from there, if, if, it don't, if them two don't work, then I'll chop music in there. If I, I don't succeed as a football player or a manager or stuff like that, then I think I'll lean back on my trombone or my still band skills because I think I can get in, I can be a really good still panist or a trombonist if I just try hard. It's really hard to do, pick with, with what I want to do because I'm good at art, good at dancing, I'm good at football. So it's really hard to pick between three other options. Connect are not always going to be there for me, but this is a stepping stone for me to push myself up and show the world that what I can do, what I can play. I'm going, I'm going to try and support Connect as much as I can by playing whatever they want me to play. But until I find another band, then that, my band is my, my ambition. I would like to be a footballer, but if I don't get, if I don't get there, I would like to be a, a vet. I want to work with animals because I like them. I would like go on to be working, or well, not working, but to go on to do more stuff with animals. Or even, I don't mind picking up music, teaching music. To work with animals and obviously still do a little bit of music on the side as well. If I do get myself a clarinet, which I am looking on, I will look for tuitions to keep on playing. So hopefully in the future, I will be able to become a tutor as well to help the young children who are learning to play clarinet. The project has been a roller coaster. Would Blogger do something like this again? Yes. However, it would be it would have been amazing to have sat down with the school and really fleshed out how we were going to make the final points work. It would be interesting to do some research on how we could do our research <laughs> and work better. I really liked it. It was an amazing idea. It was just really fun and exciting. I think it was good. Um, I feel like them coming here has... I don't want to say change, yeah, it kind of changed people's, oh, people's, wow. Um, like, 
my friends, because most of most of the people that come here are my friends. Like, their not their yeah, like their views on music and like how they. I don't know, like, how do you use it in their everyday life, I guess? I think all I can say is that it's been really helpful to me and other students and people. And, yeah, it's just helped me throughout life and school. Some knowledge that I've taken from Kinetica, I put it into my exam through GCSEs. Overall, I think it's been really good for everyone involved. I'm very pleased I've done it. I think the the whole... Um, trying to get your self-confidence up, that just that side of it has really worked for me. I feel like they should do it for other years because I feel like my year is very musical. Um, but then when you go down in the years, it's not really that musical. So I feel like, um, you know, they should go to school and like teach them a few music vibes and stuff like that. I think exchanging notes should definitely, definitely happen again. It was um, really good and for the other people who did it, like the people in other years who came to do it, like my sister, enjoyed it. Yes, it's really, really helpful with life.